Gol ko ko baba sa. This is a desperate time for the population of Mandera County. The drought is growing from bad to worse and is massively affecting the livelihood of the communities. You can see it for yourselves. Everywhere there is livestock, the situation is the same. Only God can help, but the people's lives are in danger. Previously, the situation was better, but the drought is at its peak and we may all end up succumbing to it if nothing is done to salvage the situation. It hasn't rained for four consecutive seasons since 2020. Seventy percent of dams in the county have dried up following the urban pastoral population pressure on the remaining available water points that are also on the brink of drying up. We don't have water now. I think the water is almost over. And there, you can see the water there. It's not water that mud now. The population, yeah, only the population is very high, and the livestock, which are our source of livelihood, are finished. We are in danger. Leave alone the livestock. Even human life is at stake these days. All the pans, the water pans, have dried up, and now the nearest point we can get from is around uh, 40 kilometers, a place called Goljo from here, close to uh, Kilweiri. Now, our water boozer goes for between 15,000 to 18,000 shillings at the moment. With the World Meteorological Organization predicting a fifth rainy season failure in the county, communities here are fighting for survival. Today we couldn't afford to buy anything, not even a cup of tea. The livestock that we used to depend on is no more. It is a devastating scene if you go around the county. Cattle are hit the worst. They have perished apart from the ones whose owners can afford to feed them. We are in a dire situation that possibly suicide is an alternative. The number of people in need of humanitarian assistance stands at 500,000, which is half of Madeira County's population. These women walked over 40 kilometers to this water point in Dumal, Banisa Sub County, to fetch water for their families in the face of the ravaging drought. I left very early this morning to fetch water for my family and it's now past noon. The donkeys are very frail to walk and so am I. We dig the ground to get what you can see on the motorbike. You can see from my hands. This is how we feed the camels. This is Bani Saddam which serves over 5,000 population of Baniso Ward, the dam, only water source breathing life daily into the residents, is also on the verge of extinction. And the earth fans of the outcast have all heard, right? This is the only sources of water that we have as a Baniso sub-county. And we are, we are just sharing with wild animals, like water during night time and also dogs. During the morning period, we are using as a woman consumption since it is the only water. The growing impact of climate change on the human and livestock population is increasingly visible by the day. Water has become a precious commodity of the 4 million liters of water required daily to save people and livestock only 1.8 million liters are being supplied by the county government. Too little water is siphoning life out of the people and their livestock. These sightings of dead camels, cattle and donkeys are becoming everyday phenomena. According to the National Drought Management Authority, cumulative livestock death in the county from January 2022 to date 
stands at 365,283 katols, 160,721 camels, 495,169 shoots, and 29,000 314 donkeys. I am now only left with eight cattle out of the 98 I had before the drought. Of the eight, two are now very frail and can only be supported to walk. God is my witness. I don't have a single penny to buy feeds for them. Just like the camel you see at the back, they are not valuable anymore. There are no animals. As you see, when you go around this area, you will see like one, cam one camel, two camels, or just a kettle like that. They all died, or some that have, uh, that have left behind have been shifted to another area, like they have went to Ethiopia and to search for life, uh, what do you call, pasture and water. As the hard-hitting drought sweeps the livestock population, the livelihood of the communities in the county is endangered. Milk production becoming scarce, lactating mothers and pregnant women are hanging on the balance. About 29%, which equates to 108,735 children under five years of age in Mandera, are facing acute malnutrition. We depend on milk and meat here. Yeah and vegetables, lack of water, lack of milk because of the droughts. The children are malnourished. They don't have proper water, proper diets, and proper meat. And the lactating mothers have a lot of problems because they don't have the right diet. They don't have milk. They don't have the right foods to eat because of the droughts. With the soil drying up like never seen before, the temperature is rising unusually fast and the people of Mandera County are failing it. The acute water shortage and the long cycle of droughts are creating havoc. Food insecurity challenge becoming more severe each day. The drought has severely affected us. A severe water shortage can't even sustain humans, leave alone the plant and crops. The desperation, devastation and destruction brought by the drought's severe impact are plastered all over the community's faces. Something needs to be done and must be done urgently. Our people are dying. We are aware that our people are dying in the bushes, the livestock in the next few days will not be there. We appeal to the county government and other well wishers to come to the rescue, to our rescue, to save humanity. Otherwise, uh, in the next few days, I'm sure all the livestock along with uh, the people, the pastoralists, will face extinction. There is a lot of mal malnutrition and um, health-related, uh, hunger-related diseases. Children under five years are a threat, um, like 20 mothers and, uh, and pregnant, actually breastfeeding mothers are also affected. So we require intervention in terms of animals feed, in terms of uh, human uh, intervention. Country about 500,000 of the residents of Mandera require food aid. That is over 60 percent of the population of Mandera County. So, as a county government, we are struggling with our tracking. We have did a full distribution in the month of August. Uh, we are planning to do one in November. Uh, we have appealed to the international donors. We have appealed to the Kenya, Kenya government, and we expect also support from their end. Challenging as it appears, collective effort is needed from all stakeholders to cushion the communities and enable them to adapt in order to survive. Agent interventions are required and communities here need swift action.